always on the go, but the day just won't be one without your Hollywood fix. Let Golden State Media Concepts Entertainment Podcast take care of that. An all-inclusive look of pop culture. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Golden State Media Concepts Entertainment Podcast. I'm your host, Pauline, and today I have a lot of things to talk about, and especially about a lot of things that it seems like in the music entertainment world, but I have some other things to share with you as well. And I first wanted to start off with one of my favorite artists, Justin Timberlake. Now, Justin Timberlake is, and I have a short, small confession that, I mean, if you're close to me, you already know this about me. And if you don't know this about me, now you'll know. I am in love with Justin Timberlake's music. I am, I don't know if I have a crush on him. I don't think so. I mean, he's handsome. He's not unattractive, but he, he, I love his music and I love his style of music. And so I guess that makes him even more attractive in a way. But I have always, always, it's been my dream to have Justin Timberlake perform at my wedding, like my reception, because, (laughs) and I'm still drafting in my mind the letter that I'm going to write to him in which I ask him to perform. Hopefully one day I will be famous enough or cool enough um, or just have enough money (laughs) to hire him I guess but I mean like I would love to be cool enough famous enough to where he just asks me if he can perform at my reception but think about it like Justin Timberlake has so many great songs out there he has a lot of fun songs that are like high energy he also has some like songs with like a hip-hop flair he has love songs slow songs like everything and like The songs that he sings and that are really popular by him are songs that I can listen to with my grandma. You know, like I wouldn't be embarrassed. And so I just think it would be a lot of fun. And I think that he would be a lot of fun to have at your reception. I think that people would have fun with him. It would just be a lot of good time. So Justin, if you're out there and you're listening to this, or if somebody is out there and you're listening to this and you know Mr. Timberlake and you want to like, pre-book him out like I know maybe maybe if I can get Justin to agree to singing at my reception that then I'll find a groom who knows maybe I gotta get my performer first then I can find a groom then we can start planning this bad boy and so (laughs) I don't know we'll keep hope alive but anyways so Justin Timberlake um I have some exciting news for all of us um JT fans because it's been so it's been three years since his late latest album his last album was released the 2020 experience and where he had like mirrors, suit and tie, tunnel vision. And then we did get his song, Can't Stop the Feeling, which is so cute. I love that song. And it's um on the Trolls soundtrack, which I am looking forward to watching the movie Trolls. Um, but he hasn't told us um about any new album and when another album is going to be released so this is kind of good and bad news in a way because like i said so it's kind of bad news because he hasn't really told us whether or not we're gonna get anything anytime soon and it's been so long since we've had another album from justin timberlake but he is working on something like on a project So, and as you know, like he's in trolls right now. He just had a baby. He's married. So he is quite a busy man, um, which makes sense as to why he's not on tour or anything or constantly worried about producing another project for us as far as uh, another album of his. And he was saying um, most recently in Variety's November issue, November 1st issue, um, that so this is where the good news kind of comes in he did say um i'll put it out when it's done when it feels right i'm just in the now of now i think it's an effect of just enjoying my life more for a long time i lived my life for a lot of other people or for the idea that those 
other people had an idea of me. So it's nice to know that he's in a really good place within himself and within his family, within his marriage, and just with the little things that he is working on as far as, like I said, trolls. But it also gives us hope that even though he's focusing a lot more on his like his own self and his own life that he's still working and he's still in the studio and doing things like that. And even, um, Pharrell Williams, who collaborates with him as well as Timbaland, um, was saying that this new album that they are working on, that this project is something that is going to be very, very unique. And, um, and that because Justin has, become more into himself and that he's grown into himself and that he's able to harness um, a different aspect of life and be able to bring that forth in his music that it's going to be something completely different than 20 the 2020 experience which I'm very excited about because I love when the music changes and grows as the artist changes and grows and there's some artists that when you listen to their music you could kind of tell what time in their life that they, what what where that place was that they were at that time in their life um because of their music and so i'm very very excited for him timberland said that this is going to be very deep and that it's just something that we haven't really heard from him before and so like I said, we don't have a release date or even like an album name or anything. All we have to do is just take trolls for right now for all of us Justin Lumbers, all um Justin lovers, excuse me. We can just enjoy his beautiful voice on trolls. And, but until then, we're just going to have to wait, but at least he's still in the studio, right? And so that's semi good news. So maybe Maybe it'll be time. But then, of course, like I said, we are very excited and happy for you and Jessica Beale, who he is um, married to, in case you didn't know. I'm glad that they're in a really good place and that he is enjoying his happy married life and being a father at this time. And honestly, my mom and I, we were talking about it. It's really cute because now he's doing movies such as Trolls. <laughs> because he's a dad now and so even in that he's changing a little bit so um we're gonna actually cut it to a quick break and when we come back i want to give you guys some updates on chrissy Teigen. um she was just on the cover of cosmo most recently and i have that copy actually in front of me right now so something that she said in her little cosmo interview as well as daniel lanoy and i want to introduce to you guys this great um well, I just have something to say about Daniel Lanois, and if you know of him, then you may be surprised on what I'm going to tell you, and if you don't know, then I'm so happy to be the one to introduce you to him, because I luckily uh, most recently stumbled upon him, even though I kind of knew him before. He, you may be surprised, so keep it locked here. You're listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Entertainment Podcast. This is Pauline, and I will be right back. Are you looking for help for your fantasy football team? Check out the GSMC Fantasy Football Podcast. Get today's best advice on who to start, who to sit, even who you should draft. From sleeper picks to red-hot lineups, they got it all covered for you. That's gsmcpodcast.com backslash fantasy-football-podcast. We'll cover traditional leagues, dynasty, PPR, even IDP leagues. When you need fantasy help, there's just one show to hit up. Don't forget to like them on Facebook and follow Follow them on Twitter. Visit gsmcpodcast.com for more info. Welcome back, everyone, to the Golden State Media Concepts Entertainment Podcast. I'm your host, Pauline. And if you don't know, now you know, uh, Chrissy Teigen <laughs> has been married to John Legend for three years and they've been together for 10 so and and if you have been on social media she is she loves posting on social media and she's a lot of fun she she's one celebrity who is really relatable on social media and she's a lot of fun she jokes with herself she jokes about her husband John Legend all of that and we also got to see through her pregnancy and through the different posts that she would post on social media the um 
up until um, most recently because she was pregnant with her and John's first daughter. Her daughter's name is Luna and so cute. But she's more than just John Legend's wife. Um, and she's more than just like a very pretty face. And one thing that I loved about this Cosmo article on her was that we got to see her and uh, be more intimate with her. And I love how fun she is and how transparent she seems to be when it comes to herself her husband her relationship all of that and so one thing that was um brought to the attention of a lot of people especially is that she had mentioned in her interview um that she didn't know that john legend was um and i quote she says um I didn't know, but John used to be a notorious modelizer. To me, he was the sweetest teddy bear. And so um, a lot of people were kind of surprised that she didn't know. And I was kind of surprised too, because I didn't realize that John was like that. I always thought that he was so kind and so sweet, right? Like he seems just so sweet. And then um, she did say, because a lot of people, uh, and especially Cosmo had even asked her, um, because he had dated so many people and, um, you know, women in the industry, if she is jealous of them, if she gets along with them into what she said that she gets along with all of the girls that he's ever been with and that she actually really enjoys them. And that a lot of times like she, um, like she gets along with them and that she enjoys it. Like if she runs into them, that they do have a good time together as well. And that she enjoys, um, them as people and not really as his ex and isn't really worried about all of that which i think is kind of cool um and so again if you go into the cosmo article it also dies into when they first started dating and early on into their relationship and how he was really busy and she really didn't think it was going to work out because he was kind of not really not that he wasn't into her but he was so engrossed in his work and so it's a lot of fun and it's a really intimate um, interview that I really enjoyed on Cosmo. And I thought it was really nice that they did a good job to mention and that it wasn't just all about her and John. For instance, she does have um, this past February, she released her first cookbook called Cravings. And it's basically as if you were in the kitchen with her um, <laughs> cooking up her favorite recipes. And for instance, um, one of the when describing it it says chicken thighs make me happier than watching drunk chicks in a club bathroom <laughs> which i thought was a lot of fun and really funny and it's been on um it's been the number one new york times bestsellers advice how to and miscellaneous list um and so it's remained um a top seller ever since this past february and then again like i said she's been having a really um, busy year because I just had her baby who is five months old now, as well as she is the co-host on Spike's lip sync battle. And if you haven't seen lip sync battle, it's a lot of fun too. It has LL Cool J as a co-host as well. So she does do a lot of things. And I think that that's the really cool thing about her is that, yeah, she is married to John Legend and, but she does a lot on her own and she does a lot in her own career in her own field so that was really exciting and so definitely check out that article in cosmo if you haven't seen it um i just get cosmo um to my house so that's how <laughs> i assembled upon it to keep up with all the latest new stuff that cosmo wants me to know right because cosmo cosmo is a lot of fun some of the things like kind of crack me up other things i really do look into i just love that they have all of the perfume samples in there so it always smells really really good and then um in this particular cosmo um cosmo I almost said episode. I'm so sorry. But in this one, the December 2016 issue, they have sizzling holiday looks for under $50, which is really nice because you know how like in magazines, they'll post different looks or they'll post different scarves, shirts and things like that. And they're like $500. And I'm like, great. I I'm not going to be able to. I cannot wait. I This is how I always approach it. I cannot wait until I could afford five a $500 scarf. But until then, I wanted to get into some more entertainment news because there's been a lot happening actually this week in the world of entertainment. And it's a lot of fun. And I did want to take this time to thank all of our veterans 
Um, this is uh, the episode I'm recording this on the 10th. So it's about it's the day before Veterans Day. And so I wanted to say thank you to all of our veterans and thank you to all of your families as well, because I know that with having a service man or woman who you love and that you are deeply close to, it does take an effect on you as well. And, and so I wanted to say thank you for that. And so I wanted to get into something that has been kind of, um, I don't want to say it's really entertainment, but it is entertaining to see people's reactions. And um, if you haven't been to Starbucks all day, I suggest that you go because they have released um, the holiday cups and there are 13 different styles and everybody was in an uproar over the unity cups that they had just um, released about a week ago, but now they have released the official holiday cups and there's 13 different versions of the holiday cups so there's something out there for everyone i personally went to starbucks this morning and i did not get a holiday cup so i don't think that they have reached my city yet so i'm kind of sad i feel kind of cheated a little bit but um it, and that's another funny thing because starbucks has um in its own right been an entertaining situation especially during the holidays because people just get so worked up about those christmas cups but um when we come back i want to cut it to a quick break but when we come back i want to give you guys this scoop on and it may be an introduction for some of you but on daniel lenoy so keep it locked here you are listening to the golden state media concepts entertainment podcast i will be right back do you want to be healthier, yet you just don't know what to do? All these shows telling you this and that, but nothing seems to work. Well, listen close. Golden State Media Concepts has got something great for you. The health and wellness podcast dedicated to workout trends, healthy eating habits, diet, and everything about healthy living. Join us in our banters as we help you not just live life to the fullest, but live it to the healthiest. Welcome back, everyone, to the Golden State Media Concepts Entertainment Podcast. I'm your host, Pauline, and I wanted to introduce to everyone, if you didn't know, and if you did, then I wanted to give my review on Goodbye to Language. Now, Goodbye to Language is by Mr. Daniel Lanoy. And now, if you recognize his name, it could be because, one, you, um, he has worked on albums with U2 as well as Bob Dylan, Peter Gabriel, and Willie Nelson. So we know of him in a way, but his um, latest album right now, it's called Goodbye to Language, and which actually, and I want to give you guys my little review on him because I actually really, really liked it. And Goodbye to Language, as you can gather from the name of the album there aren't any lyrics there's no words there's no language it's just um music soundscapes and it's really actually very nice so it's a little bit different if you're used to having a lot of words on songs but it's kind of nice to have something without words right and to kind of enjoy on its own and so um but the cool thing about this album is that um he is so Mr. Daniel Lanoy is a uh, pedal steel guitar player. And if you don't know what that is, it's actually really cool because I learned about the pedal steel guitar as well as the lap steel guitar. Now, if you look up what a pedal steel guitar is, it'll say a musical instrument played like a Hawaiian guitar, but set on a stand with pedals to adjust the tension of the string. So that's Daniel Lanoy who is, um, you know, the pedal player on the album but then he also collaborates with a lap steel player Mr. Rocco De Luca and um a lap steel guitar for those of you who don't know which is totally fine and you could definitely I suggest definitely googling these instruments and looking up some of the clips of how these instruments are played 
because it's actually quite interesting and it's actually really, really cool. Um, a lap slide guitar or a lap steel guitar um, is a guitar played on the lap with a slide or steel. Lap slide guitars are generally one of three types, acoustic resonator guitars, electric lap steels, or conventional acoustic guitars designed or adapted for this style of playing. So it's actually really, really cool because through this album, I learned one about two different instruments and what they sound like together. And then also, I just think it's really cool because this is and this is an artist who is mostly known for producing and for creating with other mega stars, but then he has produced something else on his own. And so it was actually really exciting. And so I took the time to really listen to this album and I was playing it over and over again. I played it even while I was preparing for this show, as well as just in the car while I was driving back and forth to, um, to, to work and things like that as well. So I could kind of listen to it a, a lot and to really enjoy the music. And so it's really nice because you can get it just straight off of Apple Music, which is really cool because you could just download it and have it on your phone, play it in your car. Like I said, that that's what I did. But then I also, um, it, it, so I wanted to give you guys my review. Now, out of a scale of one to 10, I think that people um, and one of my coworkers, Shay, we always talk about this because people, whenever you rate something on a scale of one to 10, people tend to rate it a seven or if they don't like it, they'll rate it like a six, but usually people will give it a seven. So I'm going to rate this album on a scale of one to five. And this is just my personal opinion. I would actually give it a solid four because I really actually enjoyed the album. I liked having, um, saying goodbye to language and I thought it was very, very soulful. And, and when I say soulful, just because it was very, it, to me, this album was something that because there was no words, I didn't have to focus too hard. I can just kind of listen to it and enjoy it. And it wasn't too much going on. And I actually like the way that pedal steel guitars and lap steel guitars sound, which surprising to me, right? Because I didn't even know about these instruments. So it was really nice because I actually was enjoying it. But the only thing that um, kind of concerned me about this album that is the fact that to me, if you're listening to the album all at once and you're just having it play one track after another, it just sounds like one really, really long track. And you can't really tell when one song ends and the next begins. Now, it could be Daniel Lenoy's reasoning. That could perhaps be the way that he is telling one seamless story through his music is that there is no beginning or end like it's just one seamless flow and if that is his re reasoning behind it that he definitely achieved that but for me I just didn't care for that and and the songs aren't too long each track is not too long um so they're they're kind of short tracks about three and a half minutes to about five minutes so nothing is too long but there are um it, it's not there's not too much of a difference in between songs at least when you're driving in your car you can't really tell when it's gone to the next track and to me when I first started listening to the album I didn't realize how short the tracks were because I just thought that they were really really long songs but there it and it does have only one concept and one style um so there's not anything new like and and it, and it could be because there's basically only two instruments playing within the album but overall I really did enjoy it and I thought it was really really nice and I thought that having again this was just introducing myself to something brand new and it is really nice because it's just relaxed and you can just digest it all at once and it's not very difficult to digest and to understand and to know and to learn and to appreciate and without having the lyrics to it you can create your own story with it which I really really enjoyed and I enjoy the fact that it is kind of like a seamless story and that there are not a lot of 
differences between the different tracks. But then that can make it kind of boring. You know what I mean? So that, that's where he teeters on being a tad bit boring, especially if you're not into music without lyrics. It can seem kind of redundant. And the highs are just low highs. Like the highs are higher than his lows when you're listening to it. If you're really, really listening to the music, there's nothing really. There's not a lot of ups and downs in the flow of the music, which again, that could have been what he was going for. And if he, it is, then that's really what he did achieve. And so that's actually going to do it for this episode of the podcast. I hope that I was able to introduce you into something to someone new. Like I said, you can get, you can download goodbye to music on Apple music as well as on his website i believe and so it's really really good go check it out and tell me how you guys what you guys think about it you can find me on twitter as well as on facebook and you can listen to this episode as well as any future and previous episodes on our network website that's gsmcpodcast.com as well as on itunes google play soundcloud and stitcher i'm pauline and that's gonna do it i will talk to you guys next time You've been listening to the Golden State Media Concepts Entertainment Podcast, part of the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. You can find this show and others like it at www.gsmcpodcast.com. Download our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Google Play. Just type in GSMC to find all the shows from the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network from movies to music from sports to entertainment and even weird news you can also follow us on twitter and on facebook thank you and we hope you have enjoyed today's program